hello welcome to this tutorial today we are going to brace uh, these rafters you're seeing on the screen here you want to brace these rafters and the main columns welcome once again to this tutorial and let's get started right away and prior to that we'll go straight to applications and component here you realize the, the moment i hover i mouse over this button here you'll be able to see applications and component here this is where i will be able to get all the macros and uh, the macro for bracing that will be will use to to brace these columns now i'll go ahead and click on the, on that applications and components here and uh, under inside this window and inside this uh, uh, this uh, search space i'll just type bracing i'll just type bracing here and uh, the system will predict what i'm trying to look for and uh, will will uh, prompt me with bar with variety of macros which might be similar to what i'm looking for now i'll just click uh, i'll just click inside this window and scroll down and try to find out or try to look or trace if uh, if the macro i'm trying to look for is inside here this is the macro i'm looking for and uh, it's tensioner brace and compression bar now i'll just go ahead and click this button this column and this column and prior to doing that i'll just double click here to access the window for that macro of tension tensioner brace and uh, compression bar and this is where i want us to get to uh, from the, from this window we'll, we'll be able to feed the right settings for our bracings now this 5.8 or 1500 is not a default these are the settings for my for my model this model here now this uh, eight uh, five point eight is this is for the rafter part now to get that I, i'll just click on that and i'll be able to get the, this dimension here it is six you can see that is sixty two eighty and i've fed this uh, uh, five point eight just to give an allowance of the eve or of the the haunch and uh, of the apex haunch here now this will work perfectly and once i've fed that i'll, g I'll just get half of that and feed it here right here and uh, i want uh, uh, an offset slightly slightly off this connection by 100 millimeter and i'll feed that from um, that spot in the, if you intend to use to use the same same settings I'll, I'll take you through to pick the same settings and apply it on uh, your structure now i'll go i'll go straight to parts right here and go all the way to compression bar compression bar we don't need to use joints just click we don't need uh, uh, connection right there just click no don't pick on yes joints just leave it on auto now if i come back if i come back to pictures here and go back to parts these are the settings just pick everything uh, the the rotation of the bracings this how you you rotate them just pick the middle middle front and just pick no don't move forward don't move back, backward and that just pick the same settings if you intend to use the same and once you've done your settings make sure you give them a name so that you, you you next time you're doing the same thing don't do the settings once again just use your pre your your saved settings and apply like here i saved mine if i come to to this drop down arrow you'll see bracings and bracing one now the, the bracing one i customized for the column for the column for for the reinforcement of the column and uh the bracings for the bracing of the rafter now let me just first of all load the bracing for the columns i'll come back again and click on that bracing one and click load this will load my settings for for the column for the columns here now let me just take you through all the settings that i made for the column on the on the picture there you can see that it's eight meters and these eight meters come as a result of 
I took the dimension from this from, from the bottom end here all the way to the bottom end of this beam here you're seeing here and I gave a lens of 600 millimeter now I took half of that and fade here and that and uh, I just left that on zero level on zero zero and come to parts here just pick the same settings if you intend to use the same settings and the compression bar we don't need to use the joints just leave at that and let me just come back to picture what I'll do after loading that I'll come here and apply uh, after after clicking modify apply and I click uh, okay or accept now I'll go back to I'll go back here and invoke the tensioner tensioner brace and compression bar macro and uh, I'll go straight away you can also see here pick the object I want to connect this column and this one the connection will be created immediately and I'll and uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and, and create the connection here I'll come to brace I'll just uh, I'll use a central gusset plate connection just type central but before I finish that word it will be predicted by the system and uh, the system will give me variety of choices similar to the word I've not completed uh, typing and uh, it happens that central gusset plate or 169 is here and this is, is what I want to use now is uh, if I house if I mouse over these bracings you'll be able to see everything is, is highlighted and this way it's very very difficult to create a central connection a central connection here so what I'll do I'll disable the assembly it's not a matter that you explode everything here you can you can explode if you want and reassemble them back because this will help you a lot in creating the, the assembly drawings now what I'll do I'll mouse over this. Uh, I'll mouse over these two buttons, this one and this one here. If uh, mouse over, you can be able to see select components. This enable this enable selection of components. That and also you can select individual components in assembly. So I'll click on this, and the moment I click on this, this will disable this assembly, or it allow it will allow me to click on individual uh, components inside assembly now i'll click on this on this and this and this one and this one and press my mute button on the mouse because i want to create a connection right there i want to connect the two so if i switch back you'll be able to see if i switch back you'll be able to see that the assembly has been detected but they are centrally connected with with this plate here let me just go back so that i create a connection to the other one to this end i'll go back here and click on that central gusset uh, gusset plate connection click on that this and this i want to connect the four after clicking the four then press the middle button in the mouse then the the connection will be created i right click and click interrupt that's it now i'll switch over to to rafter i want to want to i want to brace the rafter here and also this will depend on the on the length of our rafter and th the length of our rafter is this this is 6.2 meters this is 6.2 meters you can see here 6.28 meters so I I, I I I brought it down to to 5.8 and uh, just to give me allowance I don't need my connection I don't want my connection to reach right to be cl much closer to my to my apex hunch here I don't want that clash and also I gave an offset or uh, I gave an allowance of, of 100 millimeter of the hunch here now I'll go back here and and type brace uh, bracing here and scroll down once I've clicked inside and scroll down and go back to this type this tensioner bar brace and the compression bar this is the macro that we are using to create or to brace uh, our rafter and column i'll double click on it just to access its window so that I'll, i can be able to take you through the settings that i made for that particular connection of the rafter so if you intend to use the same settings you can use you can apply these settings on the on under picture you can see you can see that this is for the, for the column the column is that high now i'll switch uh, i'll switch to the brace the bracings and I'll click load here 
you can see that it's now switching to 5.8 this is this if i click on that rafter you can be able to see it's actually 6.2 let me just bring it close it is 6.2 6.2 so I round it up to 5.8 and, and go to the half of 5.8 and fade and that slot and this slot and I give an allowance from this port from this end going all the way to that end by 100 and the reference is taken from that going um, coming down here going up you can see that so my reference is taken from this from from the hunch going that way the same here my reference is is at this end and i've given an offset of 100 millimeter that's it now once i've clicked load all the settings that i made will be put just jogging to wait for me to invoke that command and everything will be applied now I'll, let me just go take you through the settings that i made so that if you intend to use the sim similar settings you're gonna pick them from here now i'll go straight to parts you can see the size of uh, the l shaped or rsa size here and i've showed you if you want to pick um, a different one you can just click on this radio button this will take you right back to uh, profile catalog and I'll click on this. Let me just to, to just to show you how this will take you back. The moment you click on this, you'll be prompted with the, uh, a window of a profile catalog. And from here, you'll be able to pick on a different type of steel profile. Let me just minimize this and come right here. And you can see the also, you can see this here, 65 by 50 by 6, by 6 millimeter thick. That is what I, ch I picked. And once you've done that, just click apply and click OK. I've already done that, so I don't need to apply and OK. I'll just go ahead and, cl and click cancel. But remember, the, the moment you click apply and OK, that will reflect here. I'll do a similar thing here, and I'll do a similar thing here, and do a similar thing here, because there are four bracings, the, whole, the four braces connected centrally by a, gas a central gasset plate. Now, um comfortable with this we don't need a compression bar we don't need this compression bar here now what we'll do uh, and also we don't need a joint to be created automatically because you want to create our con our, our, our connections uh, manually that will take us back to pictures and we'll go straight away and click load once you've clicked load i'll go ahead and click modify i'll click apply and click ok and that will make our settings active and cl I'll click on empty screen just to deselect or to remove the selection that I uh, that was highlighted here. I'll go back and invoke the same command and pick on these two rafters, and uh, they will be braces. They, they will be braced. You can see it has been braced here, and also the al the allowance of of 100 millimeter has been considered right here, of the hounge here. So our gasset plate will be placed without, without any, any clash to that connection. That's perfect. And uh, we'll switch back to central gasset plate connection so that we, we connect these two or these four braces. Let me switch back to central gasset plate and just type sign and uh, everything will be, pre will be predicted and uh, this will be reachable. The central gasset. And uh, we want to connect these four braces. And uh, the moment you select everything, just press your middle button in the mouse, and everything will be the connection will be created. And we'll do the same thing here. We'll click on this, 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 and that, and press our middle button in the mouse, and the connection has been created. Then to remove this, uh, uh, these signs of active macro, just right click and come to re redraw, and uh, everything will, will be refreshed, and those will disappear those will disappear now we want to create a connection here and uh, the central gasset plate is on the appropriate macro to connect to create a, con a better connection at this end we'll use bolt bolted gasset plate so now we'll just type 11 and this is the bolted bolted gasset plate we, we are looking for and we'll go straight and click on it then uh, you can see here pick the main part we'll pick first the main part 
and click the secondary parts and press our mirror button on the mouse and the connection has been created here they are perfectly and we'll move to these two here pick on that pick on the main part then go to secondary parts and uh, you can see here we, you can connect up to 10 members here now in this case we just picked three now once you've you've selected everything just press your middle button on the mouse and connection will be created right there as simple as that i'll close this and i switch over to this and uh, i'm not seeing it clearly and what i'll do i'll just turn it around by coming to navigate and pick rotative the mouse and also you can press your control button on the mouse hold and press your middle button on the mouse and move your mouse you'll be able to rotate that now i want to i want to connect this let me just right click and click and and uh, click uh, interrupt just to exit from that command i'll come back to bolt bolted gasset i want to connect this this one and this one i'll press my middle button on the mouse and the connection has been created i'll do a similar thing here i want to connect this to this i'll press my middle button on the mouse and uh, I've not connected this one also. I want to connect that. And I think this one also has not been connected. And I want to create a connection at the bottom end here. We should not forget anything. We'll click on that and click on this and uh, we'll connect that. Also, we'll move down and finish off with this members. Uh, connect this to that. Connection has been created and I'll move all the way to the bottom end here and click on this that and that connection has been created right there and it'll go down here at the bottom end here and click on this uh, I'll click on the main member and click on the secondary member and, and press a middle button the mouse and connection will be created automatically without you doing so much let's now switch to the other side remember if you want to rotate you come to view and come to uh, just come to view and come to come to navigate click, click on navigate on this drop down arrow and pick a rotate with mouse and also you can press your your you can press uh, your mid button on the mouse while holding the control button on, on the on the keyboard and you move your mouse you'll be able to rotate let me just do that for you let me just click on the screen I'll press my control button right here and I'll be able to rotate that. I'm pressing my control button. So when you move it, it's still active. If if you leave the control button, it will still active while holding your middle button the mouse. You can still uh, you, you can be able to rotate still. You can be able to rotate your 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 model. You know when a stay is still, you, you you can mistake it for uh, a still a still for steel now we'll right, right click and come to interrupt and come to the com that command i'll invoke this command once again i click on this and this and press my build button on the mouse and the connection has been created right there and it'll go up all the way to this end pick the the column as the main part and pick these braces as secondary parts and press my build button on the mouse for the connection to be created we go up here and pick on this pick on that pick on that and right click and we, we, we are done with that now the next thing remaining just right click and redraw and uh, to remove that to remove the signs of any active command now we'll go back to assembly we'll uh, activate this button so you will realize when you when you, you, you when you mouse over this member everything will be highlighted which which indicates that that a, a better idea on how to create this if i do it repeatedly you'll be able to master it perfectly now let me just come to brace let me just come to brace and i'll pick on that i'll click on i'll click inside and scroll down and uh, get that tension above macro and prior to doing that i want i want to to change i want to change my xyz plane i'll snap right there right click and i click interrupt just to exit now i'll click on this member and click on this member 
and that'll be able to create my bracings let me just go back and uh, start my connection from that end and that end right click and that has been created it has picked the setting for my for uh, rafter bracings i'll just double click on this to bring the window of uh, bracings from here i'll be able to change everything i'll just come here and pick the setting for the for the bracings and uh, for the bracings which is bracing one and i'll click modify everything will, will be adjusted bracing one i'll load it and I'll click modify it has been it has it has changed and i'll go all, all the way up here all the way i'll go all the way up here and change my x y z plane i'll come to work plane there and place my my x y x y z plane right there until i s until you see the x y plane aligning itself matching its slope matching the slope of the rafter then you just click on that now i'll come back here and click on the on 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 this on this rafter and that rafter and that will be created perfectly and i'll come right here and rotate that perfect i'll go ahead and start creating the connections here i'll come to central plate central plate a uh, central gusset plate central gusset plate right here i'll pick on this and i want to connect these braces and I want to disable the, the assembly first. I'll switch over to, indiv to in, I'll switch over to individual component selection. I'll click on that, this, and that. I'll press my middle button. The mouse. The connection has been created, and I want to connect this one, this one, and this one. Connection will be created right there. As easy as that. As that. Click on this, this, and that. That has been created, and I'll go also go straight here and connect these four that has been created i'll switch over to bolt uh, bolted gasset i'll click on that and i want to connect these two you select on the main i'll click this the column as the main part and this as the secondary part and press my middle button on the mouse and also i want to do that on this end click on that and that I press the middle button on the mouse Let's see whether that has been created. I'll turn that like that. You can see that has been created right there. Let me just turn uh, turn around, right click, and continue doing that, right, that and that. Press the middle button on the mouse and go all the way to that end also and do a similar thing. That and press the middle button on the mouse. That has been created. Now we go up here and connect these two that has been created and we connect this one also without forgetting it we go all the way to this end and create that connection that has been created or ha has been connected now i'll come to that and turn this round right click and exit and uh, just click on that and that just come out i'll zoom out click on that that and that We've braced that perfectly and we want to connect that and this one. We are done. And what we want to do is just to populate this to, to the right position. So you right click and click redraw to refresh everything, just to remove any signs of active macro. Let me just switch to a plan view and this is what we'll be able to see. You can see our bracings well placed. These are bracings. Now we want to copy this to other parts. Now what we'll do, we'll just select everything here. We'll just select everything here, press control and select everything right there. Select everything, make sure we select even the bolts. Make sure it's selective in the bolts and the plates. So we want we want just to copy them all to 
specific parts of our model we will not forget once again our central connection here let me just activate the assembly here so that when i click one everything has been selected right here this one has been this one has to be selected right there this has to be selected perfect this has to be selected together with the other parts and press control and select that press control and select this one also i will not forget that let's not forget this also and let's not forget that let's copy that also or select that we are going to forget this we will not forget that now we've, we've selected with everything just type 180 and this one will remain at zero and click apply and accept now just highlight everything and we'll click on this press control click on that press control and click on that press control and click on that press control and click on this press control and click on the other end and click on that press control while pressing control just select on the parts we intend to to copy to the other parts click on that now we'll come back to applications and we'll come back to rotate right click and exit that now we'll press control and disable this right click and come to copy we want to copy it from this spot here and we'll go all the way to this end and copy it right here we'll give it time to load it has copied and we'll jump that and apply a bra apply bracings right there we'll give it time to load and apply some bracings just to the just here and jump one and apply one here perfect we can also apply one here Perfect, right click and click interrupt. Now we'll go to the other end and do a similar thing. We'll click on empty screen and come to navigate and turn this round. Now we'll put this in a position that we will be able to select everything. Perfect, let me just turn it round accurately so that I'll be able to select everything one go now right i'll click right click and come to interrupt and select that i'll zoom out and select that i'll zoom out and select this one also i'll select that i'll select the central plate and select on this member right here and also to select on this member and also I'll select on this one I'll select on this one and or run, or run all the way and select this once you've done that just come here and right click and come to copy and I'll, or we'll copy it from this spot from that spot going all the way to this end we want to apply some bracing here we want to brace that, that spot and apply bracing to this end let me just snap right here zoom out and snap here you, you give it time to load and also come all the way and snap here 
Oh, a snap right there. It has loaded, and I'll also brace this, brace this section. There we are, and everything has been braced. Now we switch back to two rafters. Now two rafters. I'll just highlighting highlight everything here. I'll just highlight everything. Just highlight everything right there. I'll press Control and deselect grid. Now once I've done that, I'll make sure I pick on uh, every member that I intend to copy or populate to the other sections. Now I'll select on this. I'll zoom out and select on this. I'll zoom out also again once again and select on this part and select also on this part right here. I'll zoom out and pick on this. I'll zoom out also. I'll zoom once again and pick on this gusset and uh, pick on this gusset also. Zoom out and pick this one. Make sure you, p you select every part that you intend to copy. I've picked everything now. Now the next move is quite simple. It's quite simple. I'll just come here and right click and come to copy. And I want to copy it from this spot, from this spot to this spot. Copy it right there. We give it time to load and zoom out and copy it here. You give it time to load, then the, the next one will be copied. We will copy this one right here. Perfect. It has been copied. Then we go to the next one, which is the second last, and we'll snap right there. We'll snap to the last one here. Perfect, right click and come to redraw. Click on empty screen, right click and come to redraw to refresh everything. There we are, everything has been uh, refreshed. And switch back to our isometric view. And this is what we have now. I can rotate this and turn this round. And we have a look on our bracings. Perfectly done. Turn this like that. Our braces have been placed in place perfectly well. There we are, and now palings are easy to place. Now we will wind at this spot and uh, let's meet on the next presentation. Let me just double click here or let me just switch back to, uh, to uh, plan view and we can be able to see what has been created here. This is what we've created. You can see that we have our bracings in place. Perfect. Now let me just switch back to isometric view and we can turn this round. Let me we can turn this round and turn this like that perfectly well. And you can see that. Perfect. You see that? Perfect connection. I turn this like that. It has been well braced. And uh, if you intend to use the same same settings, please don't forget to pick the settings from for my settings here if you intend to use the same same settings to to your model now right click and come to interrupt and we'll wind up on this spot and let's meet on the on the next presentation and bye bye i'm morris dimba and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are new to this channel and bye bye